right. We're right at the very top end of uh, Thurston. Nope, I keep getting it mixed up. Donnelly, where uh, the river flows in, and there's nothing here. It's dried up. You can't see it. There's there's a dried up creek bed up up that way to my left. Um, but it's so nice and sheltered here. It's like a little oasis. And uh, again, Northland Impulse paddle tail, just a smaller head. The boat is in seven eight feet of water right now. It's probably 16, 17 feet out there. And uh, it's pretty easy fishing. One after another after another. This is not really my thing. I'm not going to lie. But it's such an awful, awful day. Oh, it, it is kind of fun. And there, oh. Oh, third chance is third time's a charm. You can't see the graph from over there, but I'm um, in six feet of water here. It's just loaded, 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 loaded with fish. Adam got a pretty good one about five minutes ago, eh, buddy? On a, yep. on a blade bait. A little copper colored blade bait. So. It seems to me uh, the walleye, I mean, that's not a bad walleye. Um, they, they seem to be running slightly smaller up here in uh, the Donnelly. Than, but, I mean, that's a, what is that, like 18 inches? All right. That was one. One cast, one fish. We got a little bit of a break here from the um, the monsoon rain subsided to a, a downpour, and now it's just kind of it stopped. Oh, there it is. That one there just hit on the drop. We got a little bit of a break, so it's really hard to film and take pictures when it's uh, pouring down rain. It's not much fun. I got my pants pulled down just a tiny little bit. Okay, here we go. This is what you call actually catching and not fishing. And thankfully it's not taking a lot of thought. Mindless. Oh, there it is. Great spot to bring a kid or someone who doesn't have a lot of experience. Because it's about as easy as it gets. Once we're done with this spot, a little bit later, we found a hump just off the mouth of the uh, Donnelly. And I'll guarantee you we catch them just as fast, but they're all probably going to be averaging three pounds. But we tucked up in here for now just because it was really awful, the weather, at first. Oh, this is dangerous. Watch this. This is super dangerous. Oh. Every time I do that, my son freaks out. Dad, you're crazy. But uh, those little walleyes are a little bit more cooperative than pike. I would not do that with a pike. Definitely not. I'm shocked. Oh, oh I, was just, I was about to say that was taking too long. Oh, two heads. And here comes the rain. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. That was bottom that time. So, that particular class, I, I missed three. Didn't catch one. But I had three chances.
It's so nice and calm in here, eh? Oh, yeah. The bugs are attacking me now. The bugs? Yeah, seriously. That's because you're wearing all black. You're like a giant thermocell. <laughs> this is a tiny dink walleye. The other one I thought had the, was the record for the smallest of the trip, but this one could be it. A really hungry. Actually, it's not that tiny. It's he inhaled it though. Oh. You know what? I could do this all day long with the camera running, but I'm going to catch one more. Because it just it looks the same. Cast after cast, fish after fish. We could do this all day long. All right, last cast with the film with the camera on. Okay, I'm starting to get nervous. And we got, oh, there was one. Just um, a long cast, let it sink down and just hop it back across the bottom. And oh, the last cast resulted in a snag. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, lots of timber down there. He's near the shore. Alright. I think that's good enough.